Alright, so what is the deal about this keyboard? I mean, it's a 96% combat keyboard with a built-in numpad, and that's actually a big deal for me. So, I was using a cheap minimal keyboard from Logitech for the past couple of months ago, and my hands started to get used to it. Back to mechanical keyboard again, I feel it's like a pain and it feels just weird. Alright, so what I got here is the metal frame version with the hot swappable bronze switch. And the box is, I think it's just good. I place it there and it looks nice. So the build, yeah, I mean it's quite heavy and it feels sturdy. I can feel the aluminum frame, but at the end it's not a really big deal once you just use it for typing a word. The keycaps feels quite high for me, but at the end the build is fine. It's not as slippery as some of that you already know. But if I could, I will definitely change my keycap set to something like GMK or something. I mean, what? GMK? I mean, do you even can afford that? Well, yes, I do. But that's just ridiculous. The design reminds me of any custom keyboard out there that people normally see. It's compact, the numpad is combined by the overall key, so it's nice. But that thing's making the whole adjustment feels quite hard. I've been using this keyboard for a couple of days and it still doesn't feel right for me. It feels too high for me, but maybe I just gotta try the rest palm which means spend more money it has three accessible interface on the left side usb-c charge for charging and or even you can use it for worldly is that even words why worldly now how do i charge this thing well you know what i actually don't know i actually have no clue so let's find out uh, all right so that's just how to do it it has some features such as rgb like that you can access by pressing this two combination button and some other features that i don't personally interested to talk about it Okay, on the bottom side, you see there's a pad that you can adjust, so again, it's the pro side of this keyboard. <laughs> I mean, normally keyboard have this, so what's the big deal? I mainly use this keyboard for desktop use, but maybe in the future, I'll try to bring it outside for trifling. But I guess, considering the size, I think it will be a pain indeed. Well, so that's my really, really quick view on this keyboard.